Hello viewers, welcome back. Today is where the story begins. And the first thing I'm going to speak about are fuel and air. And why is this important? This is important because we need to know how much fuel we can burn with certain amount of air without getting the black smoke out of the exhaust. This is of course what we want to avoid. I'll start by explaining the 2 liter common rail engine. This engine has 4 cylinders with 500 cubic centimeters of volume. I will take now this glass and this glass will represent our cylinders and in this glass can fit 500 cubic centimeters of air. Yeah? And air is approximately weighted 1 milligram per 1 cubic centimeter so it's very easy to calculate and, and that's it. Yeah? The area of science which deals how much fuel we can burn with certain amount of air is stoichiometry. And the best efficiency ratio is the 15 against 1. So if we have here 500 cubic centimeters of air, if we divide it by 15, we get 33. 33 milligram of fuel can be efficiently burned with 500 cubic centimeters of air inside of this combustion chamber or cylinder. Where to go from here? This is what would explain the naturally aspirated engine, but we are dealing with turbocharger engine. Next thing I have to explain is the difference between the fuel and air. So fuel is a liquid and the air is gas. Liquids cannot be squashed, so that means that in this cylinder can fit only 500 cubic centimeter of fuel, but we can fit in more air. So if the air is a gas and gas can be compressed. And so that means that with normal atmospheric pressure, which is 1000 millibar, here can, can fit 500 cubic centimeters of air, but we, if we have the double pressure, we can get the double amount of air. So 1000 milligram of air can efficiently fit here inside of this combustion chamber. And what that means? That means that we will be able to burn double amount of fuel with same efficiency from 33 to 66. So if we have two bars of pressure coming inside of this combustion chamber, we can efficiently burn 66 milligram of fuel without getting the black smoke out of the exhaust. So this is where I will end my first video. So I explained the stoichiometry, so how much uh, air do we need to burn a certain amount of fuel. And in next video, I'm continuing to speak about fuel and I'll have to speak about the common rail engine and the common rail fuel injection systems. This is going to be subject to the next video. So thank you for watching. Until next video, stay tuned on my channel.